Hi and welcome back to this video brought to you by Maths from Scratch. This video is going to explain how we calculate the mean. Now the mean is a very simple thing to calculate and we do this using two simple steps. Now the first step is that we are going to add up all the values and then the second step is that we're going to divide by the number of values that there are. So if we take example number one, so the first step is that we need to add up all the values. So best thing to do is to be very thorough with your working out and write the process down that you're about to calculate. So 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 in this set of numbers. Now if we add all this together, we will realize that this gives us a total of 20. So that's step one completed. And now step two is that we need to divide by the number of values. So we have one, two, three, four, five values. So my working out is going to be 20 divided by five. So we need to share 20 amongst five things, five numbers. And that gives me four. So then that gives me the mean of this data set is going to be four. Okay, so if we have a look at example number two then. So the first thing that you'll notice is that my data set is now bigger than the previous data set in example number one. That doesn't matter. We still use the same process. So remember step one is we're going to add up all the values. And like the previous example, we're going to write out my working out. So the examiner can see your clarity of thought or however is marking or assessing your work. It doesn't always have to be an examiner, does it? So now we've got all these numbers written in a row, we need to add these together. So I'm going to use a trusty calculator because we can do this using both a mental method and by using a calculator. So I will quickly get my calculator out, courtesy of my computer. So here is the calculator. And so we're just going to type these numbers in to work out what they all add up to. So 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 3 plus 11, plus 4, plus 12, and then we add in a 16 to that. Press equals, so that gives me the sum of all those values. And remember, sum is just another word for total. So add up all the values, that gives me an answer of 70. And now I'm going to divide 70 by how many numbers there are. So let's count these then. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We've got 8 numbers. So 70 divided by 8. Again, we can use the calculator or we can use some short division. But let's use the calculator because we're here. So 70 divided by 8 equals, and that gives me the mean of 8.75. And so I'll write this down. So the mean of that data set is 8.75. Underline my answer for neatness. And that's example number two done. Right, and then let's move on to example number three. So what you'll notice here is that we now have some decimals in our data set. That shouldn't worry us because we can work out the mean of decimals, fractions, whole numbers, basically anything that can be added together, we can calculate the mean out of. So let's go ahead and do this like all the others. So we're going to write out what we're going to do first. So step one, add up all the values. So that gives me 0 0.1. And to that, we're going to add 0 0.2. And really do get into the habit of, of being thorough with your working out. It's easier to see where you've made mistakes if you have. And it's also easier for other people to mark it if this is what you're doing it for. Okay, so we're going to add these together. Again, we're going to use my trusty calculator. So 0 0.1 added to 0 0.2, add 0 0.62, plus 4.7, plus 6.9, plus 11. And that gives me a total of 23.52. So we'll write that down there. And then the next step is we need to divide 23.52 by how many numbers there are. So we'll write that stage of working down. So 23.52 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to share this among six things. Again, we can use this using a written method. 
So we can use short division. So if you've watched short division level um, seven, I do believe on my playlist, this will teach you how to divide the decimal by a single digit. But because we've got the calculator already open, why don't we just use that? So, oh, it's not that calculator, it's this one. So 23.52, and now we need to divide this one by six. So 23.52 divided by six, and that gives me a mean of 3.9. Two. And so finish off like all the other ones. The mean is 3.92 out of this data set. So now it's question time. So you've had a look at those examples. Now it's time to put into practice what you've uh, what you've just been taught. So pause the video, have a go at those questions, and then when you're ready to go through the answers, press play again and I'll uh, go through the answers with you. Okay, so welcome back. So as you can see, those are the quick answers there. So the mean for question one is 3.5. The mean for question two was 25.25. The mean for question three was 18. The mean for question four was 18.38. And the mean for question five was 1.225. If you've got those all right, good job. Thanks for watching this video for Maths From Scratch. And I'll, uh, I'll see you again soon. Um, if you want to watch a full answer walkthrough for all of, the, all of those five, uh, keep watching and I'll go through and answer every single one of those from scratch. Okay then, so here's the full answer walkthrough for question one. So we add in these four numbers together. So first job is to write out our working. And then the second job is to add these together. So 4 plus 2 plus 8 plus 0, well 4 plus 2 gives us 6, plus an 8 onto that gives us 14, and then a 0 still leaves us as 14. So there's step 1, and now I need to divide 14 by the number of values that I have. So it's quite easy to see I've got 4 of those, so I need to do 14 divided by 4. Now 4s don't easily go into 14, and I know that because it's not a times table fact. So I'm going to have to use a calculator for this, which is fine, because calculators are allowed. So let's just quickly type that in. So 14 divided by 4, and there we are. It gives me a mean of 3.5. So we'll write that down. Then to finish off our working, the mean equals 3.5. So that's question 1. So if we have a look at question 2, again, we're adding up all these values. So 10 plus 20 plus 30, plus 41, and to speed up the process, let's get our trusty calculator out again. So 10 plus 20, plus 30, plus 41. So that gives me a total of 101. And now I need to do 101 divided by four values again. So 101 divided by four, and then that gives me a mean as we can see from our calculator there, of 25.25. I'll just write that down there as well. And then question three. Again, answering each question exactly the same. So my method becomes automatic. If you want to get good at something, you need to practice doing it exactly the same each time. So your brain gets used to repeating the same process. Because if it repeats the same process, it can remember the same process. So we're typing these in. 21 plus 24 plus 9. So that gives me a grand total of 108 this time. And now I need to divide 108 by how many values? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So quite tight for space. So we'll do it, we'll do it up here. So 108 shared by 6. And then that gives me a mean of 18. So mean equals 18. Right, so if we move on to question four. So now this is the first time that you've been asked to add decimals together in your practice questions. But again, don't worry. We just add them together exactly the same as we, as we usually would do with whole numbers. So 17.9 plus 18.3 plus 14.9, plus 21.9, plus 
18.9. Then we'll add these into our calculator. 17.9 and 18.3 plus 14.9 plus 21.9 plus 18.9 gives me an answer of 91.9 again that's a pretty awkward number to divide 91.9 and what do we need to divide this by 1 2 3 4 5 so we divide in 91.9 by 5 91.9 divided by 5 and that gives me an answer of 18.38 so my mean for question 4 is 18.38 and that leaves us with question 5 the last one so 0 0.1 add 0 0.2 add 0 0.7 add 3.9 so that's step 1 remember adding up all my values calculator cancel my last answer 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.7 plus 3.9 and that gives me a princely sum of 4.9 and then we're dividing this by 4 so 4.9 divided by 4 and that gives me an answer of 1.225 just double check that yet so my mean for question 5 is going to be 1.225 and underline it so it's underline our answers so it's easy for whoever's marking our work can find our answers quickly so there you are they're the full answer walkthroughs for all those five questions so thanks for watching this video if you've found it useful please like subscribe share etc etc and i will see you again soon so thank you for watching this video brought to you by math from scratch